What is up, everyone? It is your man on fire mentor here, David Mailer, coming to you from Lenox. Yes, Lenox, Massachusetts. And today on the live, we are going to dive into the center of the fire and discuss what do you do as a man when you are living off purpose. Give me a thumbs up, throw me a fire sign, smash up the like key, and hit me up with a comment so that I know you can hear me because the internet here is super spotty and I wanna make sure that you guys are indeed able to hear me. All right, also I wanna know that my image is coming through clearly. Is it vertical or is it horizontal? Let me see if I can change this, just bear with me guys. Well, it looks like it wants me to go vertical, so I'm gonna hold it vertical. Let's see what happens here. Apologies, just bear with me. I'm gonna get this all handled. I'm gonna get it all handled. All right. All right, I see somebody. Sean, let me know if I'm coming through sideways or if you can see me perfectly. I'm gonna read the comments and I'm gonna keep going. All right, I'm gonna go with the understanding that you guys see me. Alan, let me know if you see me or if I'm looking horizontal right now. You are straight, beautiful. On my screen, it looks like I'm sideways. So with that said, what do you do as a man when you are living off purpose? So let's take a look at that. What am I even talking about? As with all the lives, if I use a word, I wanna make sure that I've explained to you what do I actually mean by that word? If we use the word spirit or faith or energy or God or religion, what is it that I mean so that we're at least having the same conversation? So when I'm referring to a man, thanks for all those, those hearts, guys. That's awesome. I see them flying through like little balloons. When I'm referring to living off purpose, what I mean is that there's a part of us internally as a man that comes from this remembrance of who we are. It comes from this remembrance of what we are, who we are, what we're made of, what we were built for why we came here, what's our mission, what's our purpose. And we have that faint remembrance and then we have that feeling, that sensation that we're not fully aligned with the real version of us. Meaning, I know I'm built for more. I know that I was put on this earth for a deeper reason, a deeper purpose. And it's a debilitating, frustrating, feeling of ineptitude, it brings up anger, it brings up all sorts of feelings for a man when he knows that he's living off purpose. Now, when I refer to purpose, I'm not just referring to like, well, why are you here on earth, right? Like I know that part of my purpose, a part of my purpose is man on fire, right? I had a, a beautiful career as a chiropractor for 20 plus years in New York City. And that was something I was passionate about and I love helping people and I love supporting people and getting well and having vitality and vibrancy. And then later in life, it's revealed to me through the powers that be what my deeper mission, what my deeper purpose is at this juncture of my life, which was man on fire, supporting men and having more passion, more power and living a life deeply on purpose, helping men get out of their heads and get into their hearts, helping men show up in their mature masculine leadership for their wife, for their family, for their children, for humanity, and making sure that we take on that humble and sacred invitation to protect, be the gatekeeper of the feminine heart, and to serve this level of love and this level of leadership to all those that we interact with, so that we could be of greater value to humanity, of greater contribution. This is what's behind Man on Fire. So I'm aware of my deeper purpose as it relates to my mission in life. And many men don't necessarily know what their deeper purpose is, and that's totally okay. But when I'm referring to what does a guy do when he's living off purpose, I'm not just referring to what, are your, what your deeper mission is, right? I mean when a man is off purpose in knowing that you are living out of integrity with yourself. That could be with your health, that could be in your relationships, that could be in um, your career, and yes, that can be in your mission and your purpose. It could be around your, your money, your finances, right? 
when you know that here's what's possible, here's who I truly am in a world of potential, and here's how I keep showing up. You know that you're off purpose, meaning you know that you're out of integrity with a higher version of yourself, meaning you know that there's a gap between where I'm at and where I know I can be, where I'm capable of being. There's a gap between how I'm showing up in my life and what my true potential is as a man. And the truth is, guys, and just do me a favor, just let me know, yes, we still see you. I still see you, David, I still hear you. Your, your image is coming through okay, because I'm still sideways here. The truth is, is that if we are living off purpose, it's supposed to hurt. It's supposed to feel painful. It's supposed to wake us up. Now, thank you, Alan. And what ends up happening is that for so many men that are living off purpose, what happens is because they don't know how to get back on purpose, they don't know how to start restoring integrity, they don't know how to start cleaning up their life, they don't know how to start confronting conversations that they've been avoiding, they don't know how to get back into a life of passion, they don't know how to get out of their head, they don't know how to get back into their hearts, they don't know how to start feeling again, they don't know how to uh, fix, repair, restore, revitalize, reinvigorate the relationship, they don't know how to do any of these things, so what ends up happening is that a man shrinks, a man contracts, a man might go into victimhood, a man might go into anxiety, a man might go into a space of depression. And I'm not judging any of that. And I have heartfelt love for men that go in that direction. But you have to understand that as long as that's the direction you go, you still get to avoid the responsibility of being who you really are. You get to avoid the responsibility of turning your life around and getting back on purpose. Well, you don't understand, David. I'd be on purpose. It's just this depression. It's just this anxiety. Yes, and all of that is rooted in the fear. The fear of what if I do it? What if I attempt to get back on purpose and I fail? Because then if I fail, I'm going to feel stupid. And if I feel stupid, I feel like I'm not good enough. And if I feel like I'm not good enough, I'll feel unworthy. And if I feel unworthy, then I'm going to feel undeserving of love. And I feel, if I feel undeserving of love, what's the point of my existence as a man? So what happens with so many men that are off purpose is they drop to a lower energy state. And in a lower energy state where you're stuck in your head, and your vitality, your life force is diminished, you have no emotion. And when you have no emotion, you have lost your very leverage to take inspired action. So the problem with being off purpose is that if you drop to a lower energy state, you're screwed because you're not gonna do anything about it. You're gonna think something's wrong with you. You're gonna seek out a fancy Doctor that will offer a fancy diagnosis that will offer you a pill as if the pill has intelligence. No offense to anyone that's on medications. I understand that at certain times of people's lives, it might be necessary to get them out of a deep, dark hole, but it's certainly not a long-term solution. It's a short-term solution to buy you time until you feel healthy enough, whole enough, integrated enough, courageous enough, and you're able to deal with the underlying situations, circumstances, events of what you're trying to get away from. So what happens is because we drop to this lower energy state, we're killing, we're crushing, we're diminishing, we're hurting our opportunity to make the change. Because to make the change is to get back on purpose, to get back into the life that's calling you, that's seeking you out, that's been knocking on your door, right? It starts as a whisper, then eventually it's the lion's roar, it's upon you. If you have lost that emotional leverage, you're not going to do anything about it. So how does a man get back on purpose, is he must get back into his emotions. You got to be pissed off. You have to be frustrated and you have to feel those feelings, not talk about them, not drown them out through weed and through alcohol and through porn and through affairs and through social media and through TV and through video games. No. Feel the feelings. Feel the rawness of those emotions. Get pissed off at yourself. 
where you're sick and tired of being sick and tired and you use those emotions as leverage to say enough, which is what we talked about, I believe, on last week's or the week before that, on that live, on that, on that podcast. If you don't have the emotions, then you're just going to think about how your life sucks. You're going to think about how you're off purpose. You're going to think about what could be, but you're not going to do. Thinking is not doing. Thinking keeps you in thought. Thinking and doing are worlds apart. We have too much thinking, too much thought, too much analysis, anal, analysis, in the head, dead, analysis, paralysis, stop thinking, get a pillow, yell the F-U-C-K word into the pillow, make a sound, grunt, groan, don't harm yourself, don't harm somebody else, don't scare somebody else, but make the Ooh! Make the sound. Get mad that you've been selling yourself short of the real version of you. Get mad that you've been selling your wife or your ex-wife or your children short of the real version of you. Get pissed off that you've been hiding, that you've been a coward, that you've been lacking the courage to get the hell up and get back in the game. Wake up out of your coma and know that you are built for more. You are better than this. You are here to live a life with deep meaning and deep purpose and get back on purpose. That is who you are. Everything else is a lie. You are not left out of the master plan by whoever God is for you. Nobody excluded you. Nobody punished you. Nobody told you that you can't have a great life other than somebody lied to you when you were a kid. You started believing it and now you're living into that lie. And now you have the lies, the stories, the excuses, the reasons, the justifications of why you're off purpose. And all of it is bullshit. It's bullshit. Or it's BS. It's your belief system. It's bull. It's not true. We all have the ability to live a life on purpose. We all have the ability to live with integrity, to live with authenticity, to live from our heart, not our head. We all have the ability to crush it, to have abundance, to have prosperity, to love unconditionally, to have rapture and awe and grace and gratitude and live a life deeply in love with ourselves and in love with our fellow brothers and sisters and humanity. We all have that ability to let in faith and God into our heart. We all have that ability. Nobody was left out. How do you get back to living a life on purpose? Stop believing your own bullshit. Stop with the excuses. Stop with the victimhood. Stop thinking that because of what happened to you in your past, that's why your life is where it is. No, it's not. No, it's not. You need truth serum right now. For those of you that have been hurt, wounded, you've had tremendously harmful things happen to you as a child, my heart goes out to you and I want you to know that those things happen for a reason. Not to keep you down, not to keep you playing small, not to be a victim, not to hide behind it. It happens so that you would have the leverage inside of all of that pain to rise and to have the fuel to go after the life that you were born to live. Our soul knows exactly what it's signing on for. It knows the exact hurts and wounds and traumas that we must have so we ultimately can live into the blessing and the gift of who we are. No more lying to yourself. No more excuses, stories, justifications that you get to hide behind. I'm not minimizing anything that happened to anyone. I've been doing these events now for almost 10 years. We've worked with over 10,000 men. We know what's happened to many of you. We know about sexual abuse. We know about the physical, emotional, spiritual, mental, and like I just shared, sexual abuse that have happened to many brothers and sisters. 
And we also know that inside of every one of those hurts, you have the opportunity to turn it into a gift. You have the opportunity to reach deep into the center of all of that pain and use it as your leverage to give the real you to the world. So how do you live a life that's on purpose? How? Be honest with yourself. Have the courage to rise. Have the courage to give up your reasons, stories, justifications, and excuses as to why life is the way it is. Stop with the nonsense that I see in comments all the time about love's not for me, she cheated, she hurt me, this person did this. Stop it. Just stop it. I'm not minimizing the pain that you went through, but you're bigger and better than a person that stays down and shrinks the way you see the world and hides behind that nonsense. Get up. Rise. Reclaim your passion. Reclaim your love. Reclaim your relationship with whoever God is for you. Reclaim your faith and know that you're built for more than this. So how do you get on purpose? You stop with the lies. You stop with the BS. And you reclaim your courage. Now, why am I so passionate about Man on Fire? Is because we're here to constantly remind you of these things. You get inside of our community, one of our coaching programs, which yes, of course, there's an investment financially. These things that I do on YouTube, Instagram, Facebook, LinkedIn, all these other social platforms, podcasts, it's all free. It's all right there for you. And it's information. And many of you, when you hear me, you're nodding your head and you're getting pumped up and you're excited about what I'm sharing. But my question for you is, what are you doing about it? Is it enough to get you out of your seat, to get you out of your bed, to get you off the floor, to get outside and go jog if you're overweight? Is it enough to get you pounding the pavement and finding the job, finding the career, creating abundance in your life to get back in the game of love? Is it enough? For many of you, the answer is no. It's just information. So why we push you guys all the time to join one of our coaching programs is to take that information and actually live it. Don't have it here. Have it here in your body where you freaking live it. You feel my passion on this, guys? I'm pissed that you would lie to yourself for so long that you would stay down and play small and shrink and contract. It's not you. So inside of our coaching programs, we have more eyes on you. We have more support, more challenge, more accountability. Holding your ass to the fire of your greatness, your true potential. It's scary to do that shit alone. And if left to do it by yourself, most of you will shrink. Most of you will contract. Most of you will stay down. Most of you will be an information gatherer and you won't do anything with that information. No offense to anyone listening right now. Or yeah, get offended and get pissed off and do something about it. Because I'm not here to make friends. I'm not here to be liked. I'm here to wake your ass up. You are bigger than this. The world needs you right now. Your family needs you. Your kids need you. Your friends need you. Strangers need you. The world needs the real you to show up and live a life on purpose. Living from your heart. Getting the hell out of your head. Faith. We need more faith. And less intellectual understanding of shit. Are you guys feeling me? Are you hearing me? Throw me the fire signs, throw a curveball, throw a change up, throw a knuckleball, throw a fastball, throw me the fire signs. Let me know. Do you feel me? Do you hear me? Are you listening? Are you watching? Is it getting in your heart? Who's out there right now? I'm reading your comments. Let's go. What do you got for me? What's landing for you? And if you haven't already, smash up that like. I'm going to turn my head to try to read these comments. Alan, he's listening. Showing up, brother. Keep showing up. Thank you, David. You're welcome. Look at all those fire signs from Aaron and Alan. Boom. Thank you. Yeah, I'm talking to your soul, guys, not your head. You're the stubbornness of your mind. I want to talk. You just want to be right. You just want to hold on to your bullshit. You want to hold on to your stories and your lies. Good luck. Good luck living a life on purpose. You want to be right or do you want to be free? And, well, we'll go, we'll go into this next week. We'll have a conversation, most likely, about God. Because I'm not listening to people who are quoting scripture unless you're living the scripture. I'm not here to argue anything that's in the Bible. But I want to hear it from guys that are living it, not preaching it. We have too many people parroting information and less people living what they're trying to teach. Live that life. 
Let me feel your heart. Let me feel your passion. Let me feel God coming through you. Don't give me this mental stuff where you're throwing your anger at me or other people, but you're not living it. That's not what's in the scripture. We need to live what we're learning, not preach what we're learning. Man on Fire is about dropping the information, getting it into your body so you have it in your life. That's what's missing right now. Too many people telling people what to do, but nobody's doing it. You want my time, you want my energy, you want my attention, you better be living it. I'm not following any teachers, I'm not following any mentors that aren't living it. We have enough teachers out there. What we're lacking is leadership. What we're lacking is men and women living from their hearts, what they're speaking. Show me your life. Is your life representing what you're sharing? Or are you just sharing it to feel better about yourself, but behind closed doors, you're not living it? So that's where my time's going. That's where my energy's going. And I can promise you, you come into our community, we're living it. Are we perfect? No. Do we make mistakes? Yes. Do we clean it up? Hell yeah. No one's trying to be perfect in this community. We are human and we will mess up. But we will have the integrity to clean it up. We'll have the courage to get back up. We have the courage to get back into those conversations that are challenging. And we will get out of our head and into our heart. So you want to live a life on purpose? You got to drop from here to here. You got to be willing to feel your feelings, feel your emotions, and use that as leverage to make the changes that you know, you know in your heart. That's who you are. I see you. I know who you are. I know what's inside of you. I know what you're capable of. Stop being dishonest with yourself. You're bigger than this. You're better than this. And you're built for more. Living a life on purpose. How to get back to it. Get support. Get challenged. Be held accountable. Get into a peer group that won't tolerate your limitations and will hold you accountable to your bigger vision for your life. Man on Fire is one of those groups. Are we the only ones? Of course not. There's amazing programs out there. And if you found one, great. But if you're in one and you're not being held accountable and you're getting away with your crap, you're in the wrong group. And like I said, there's many good groups out there. Thank God. We are one of many. All right, guys. It is with so much love, so much passion, so much respect for each and every one of you. It is your Man on Fire mentor, David Mailer, thing. Say Thank you for diving into the center of the fire with me today on how do you, as a man, get back to living a life on purpose. Throw me that final fire sign. Throw me the comments so I can get some value back from you guys. What are you hearing? What are you learning? What do you want to see on future lives? And if you haven't already, smash up that like key. So much love to you guys. Bye for now, guys. Oh, and guess what? Starting tomorrow at noon, Eastern Time, 28 guys, their lives will change forever. As we are hosting, I think it's our 65th or 66th already, Man on Fire four-day immersion, our signature event. 28 guys in a room, out in nature, breaking them down, getting them out of their head, back into their body, back into their hearts, finding the real authentic version of themselves and going home renewed more passion more power and more on purpose than ever before going home to be able to clean up all those conversations going home where for the first time you could look in the mirror and actually like who you're looking at and who's looking back at you going home more open more honest more vulnerable with more empathy with more compassion and with more love that's what it's all about so much love guys to man on fire mentor david mailer Thank you for diving into the center of the fire with me today.